It is important to understand that COVID-19 is a public health emergency with more than 4 million people who have lost their lives globally and many millions who have also been infected with this virus. Various healthcare systems across the globe have actually been strained through this period of the pandemic. As a result, it was important for us to leverage existing technologies to fast track the development of COVID-19 vaccines. This was to save lives and to relieve the burden on all these healthcare systems. So let's maybe discuss vaccine development. Previously, we know that vaccine development took many years uh, before you know, vaccines could be commercially available. With the COVID vaccines, it was important for us to fast track uh, the development of the vaccine. The vaccine development process entails various stages of testing, which start in the lab. Once you have found that the vaccine works in the lab, then you test it in animals before you can actually do clinical trials in humans. Human trials take the form of three stages before you can actually start administering the vaccine to humans. The first phase being small studies where you are actually testing the dosing, the appropriate dosing that you need, and also safety. After that, you then move to phase two trials, which are trials that involve hundreds of patients where you still test for safety and efficacy of the vaccine. After that, you then move to multi-center trials, which are your randomized controlled trials, which are phase three trials, where you then test for efficacy of the vaccine before you can actually then register your vaccine for use more broadly. All the currently approved COVID-19 vaccines have gone through these stages. The only difference is that under normal um, approval processes, once you have gone through your phase three trials of testing, then there is that process of submission and approval that is required before you can produce and distribute your vaccine. In this particular instance, what happened is that the testing and the production phase were actually run parallel. This, is, this was important in actually fast tracking um, the access and availability of these vaccines to the broader community. And as a result, because of that process that was followed, an emergency use approval or authorization is what is granted to these uh, vaccines that are currently available for COVID-19.